Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will introduce the layout and functionality of Surfer's interface. When Surfer is opened, a ribbon bar is displayed along the top of the Surfer application. The Contents window and Properties window are on the left, and the Document window is on the right. The Document window can be a Plot Document window, a Grid Editor document window, a 3D view document window, or a worksheet document window. The available document windows are shown in the tabs above the active document window. The ribbon bar always displays a file menu in addition to the tabs that contain commands, which are available for use in the active document window. The Home, Layout, Features, Grids, Map Tools, and View tabs are always available but additional tabs can be added depending on the active document window. For example, if we click on a grid editor document window, a grid editor tab is added with additional commands for editing a grid file. And if we click on a worksheet document window, a data tab is added with additional commands for editing a data file. And if we click on a 3D view document window, a 3D view tab is added with additional commands for visualizing the map in three dimensions. Of the six persistent ribbon bar tabs, the Home tab contains the most frequently used commands, including commands for creating maps. The Layout tab contains alignment, page size, and position size options for setting up your page. The Features tab contains commands for drawing and editing objects like polylines, polygons, points, images, and text. The Grid tab contains commands for creating, editing, or performing calculations on a grid file. The Map Tools tab contains commands for manipulating maps and map layers, and the View tab contains commands pertaining to how the document window is displayed, such as window tiling and zoom commands. The ribbon bar can be hidden in order to increase the size of the workspace if desired. Clicking the up arrow in the upper right-hand corner of the Surfer application will minimize the ribbon bar, giving Surfer a more compact menu-style feel. The arrow changes to point down when the ribbon is compacted. Clicking the down arrow will change back to the expanded ribbon bar. The Contents window contains an ordered list of objects in the Plot or Grid Editor document window, and is an easy place to select or rearrange objects. In this case, our project contains one map with a single map layer, and four axes, so we see these objects in the Contents window. Unchecking the box next to any object will turn off the visibility of that object in the Plot Document window. In order to show the object again, recheck the box. The Properties window contains all editable properties for the selected object or objects. When an object is selected, it is highlighted in blue in the Contents window. The Plot Document window will automatically update when a property in the Properties window is changed and the Properties window is automatically updated when a new object is selected. The Contents and Properties windows in Surfer can be moved and shown or hidden to customize the interface. To show or hide the Contents or Properties window, click the View tab in the ribbon bar, and check or uncheck the box next to Contents or Properties in the Show Hide section. Unchecking the box will hide the window, and checking the box will show the window. To move the Contents or Properties window, click and hold its title bar and drag the mouse. The window can be placed anywhere on the screen as a floating window or can be docked in many positions around Surfer by moving the mouse around the edges of the application until the docking mechanism is displayed. Hovering over one of the arrows in the docking mechanism will show you in blue where the window will be docked if you release the mouse button. The Contents and Properties window can be set to auto-hide by clicking the pin in the upper right-hand corner of the window. When the windows are unpinned, they hide as tabs against the side of the application they were originally docked at. Unpinned windows can be temporarily opened by hovering over the tab. When the window reappears, click the pin to permanently dock it once more. Plot, 3D View, Worksheet, and Grid Node document windows can be moved and arranged as well. These windows can be dragged and resized, or arranged more precisely by using the commands in the Windows section on the View tab in the ribbon bar. 
The contents and properties windows along the document windows can be reset to their original default locations by clicking the Reset Windows command. Surfer will need to be closed and reopened after clicking this command in order for the windows to be reset. This concludes the video training for Surfer's user interface. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.